Hello guys, uh, Jeff here from Squadron. Today I would like to introduce a new or one of the latest releases from Take Home, which is the M9 Ace or better the M9 Armored Combat Earth Mover. Now bulldozers are always very popular with modelers. We have several like the Sher on, based on a, a Sherman chassis on an M60, M48. This one is actually more custom built. It was uh, built by a BMI originally for the US Army but since then it was embraced and adopted by the US Marine Corps and a few other allied nations. A bulldozer is always a very thankful platform for super detailing or to be used in a diorama. The options are endless. I'm really very excited to see what's inside the box and maybe eventually build it. As with many companies in today's hobby market, a lot of brand names know how to really catch the eye with box art, as does Taiko. This is really, really beautifully rendered and it gives you a lot of information as far as weathering and painting. I give it a 10. Inside the box, the first thing you will see is, uh, of course, a very nice instruction sheet. There is a little, inside is a little color flyer where you can see all the different versions in camouflage. Looking at the instruction sheet, to me, it already proves that there is a lot of professionalism incorporated into the kit. Another thing is uh, a little decal sheet is included, and you, as you can tell, there is some graffiti on there to add to the blade. Very nice touch from Take Home small thread of photo edge and I think these are some side covers where the mechanism hinged on the side of the of the dozer of the bulldozer when I look at the pieces uh, take home they really came a long way and it's it's uh, it's a really a company to be reckoned with because uh, what I see is is state of the art lots of detail lots of surface detail nothing is exaggerated it's just the way it should be it's a very very nicely detailed and it doesn't really need a lot of help as I always mentioned maybe a little cable here a cable here and there maybe a, a loose hanging wire I'm sure there is an array of uh, aftermarket accessories out there as backpacks, rucksack, tent packs, bed rolls. It really will dress up this, this thing, but again, as far as the vehicle itself, it does not need a lot of detail added. Also, it's a simple build. It's not like there are like hundreds of pieces. They engineered it in a minimalist fashion, so you really don't have to be afraid, if you are a novice, to tackle this kit. And again, they did not forsake any detail. Everything is there and in, a, in, in really beautifully, beautifully rendered. Other pieces are the, the road wheels. It comes with uh, detached rubber rings for to, to be mounted on the road wheel. Now, these are not made out of rubber. These are made out of styrene, which it paints better. There is a lot of discussion going on. Some, some models like the really rubber wheels. The other one more like it, like myself. Uh, we really like it in a styrene. It, it lends itself better for painting purposes. We got these separate track links. That's always a help. We have some nice detail for the suspension and you can, as you can see, the sprocket wheels are very, very detailed. Comes with a completely fully assembled lower hull. Comes with a little sprue with transparent parts for the headlights and viewports. Very well done. Some more detail for the suspension. Last but not least, I see all kind of storage compartments and all that. So all in all, this kit, it will be a, a thankful subject for all you out there who likes dioramas and who likes to put like a maintenance vehicle or a service vehicle next to something else or just put it on a, on a platform by its own. If you're interested and you want to pick up one of these, go to our website at squadron.com or click on the link. That was it for now, guys. Uh, Jeffy here, signing off.